A minor league manager checks in to see if this young man is inclined to make any adjustments to the club's current plan for his development. The player affirms that he's still on board with the original plan. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Central. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Mississippi Braves. It's baseball on the show, and, now, and it's coming up next. It for your Mississippi Braves. Trey Riley will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Three. He's out. First base. Three. Four, four. Digging in will be Dalton Kelly. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five, fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning, keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. That is good. Expect them out. Touch up for us right now. Right. Hit well on the ground to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Only play will be the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. And now here is... Felix Yellow Horse, and he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. First delivery to him. Hit in the air down the left field line. Schnell is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. Next to hit, Felix Yellow Horse flew out last time up. First delivery to him. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to stand in is Tristan Gray, singled in his last at-bat. 
Christian Kelly, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Sent on the ground out to second. There's one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and none left. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Mississippi's out in front, three to nothing. Next, it'll be Nick Schnell. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Crowd gets up for the 3 2 to first. And that's the second out. Digging in next, Felix Yellow Horse. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Yellow Horse. First offering on its way. And he popped him up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. That will conclude matters here in the seventh. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on. Eighth inning coming up. Mississippi leads it three to nothing. That brings up Xavier Edwards. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Way the 0 1 pitch on the ground to second base. This could be two right to him to second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by his step. No real chance from the roll two that time. He's just too quick coming out of the batter's box. You basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. That's ball four. nice to get the first game of the series but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd seems to energize everybody the rest of the series a five nothing finish tonight the Mississippi Braves jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Trey Riley gets the win on the mound his first of the year so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us It is an honor for me. There's basically nobody better qualified to talk about what it's like as a two-way player than legendary softball star Jenny Finch, who joins me now. Jenny, when you were coming up, what was it like for you? How did you deal with people who doubted your ability to stay as a two-way player?